Hey, thanks for coming back to the channel. We've been talking a lot about Dante interfaces and networks in recent videos, and you can check out the Sound Devices MD4 Dante interface video I did, the Sound Devices 970 recorder video recently, or my Reaper DAW video where I used Dante virtual sound card to pull uh, audio from a Yamaha Rio system. While Dante makes a great snake solution for systems like Yamaha's mixing consoles, when you go beyond the stage box and console, you can get into some really powerful territory. More and more Dante-enabled gear is showing up all the time, giving us options to add things like wireless microphones and speakers to our network for direct access. But what about all the gear you already own? To that end, we have Audinate's first foray into Dante adapters, and that is the Avio series. And you've probably heard about these already. They've been out for a little while now. While they offer other Dante adapters in the card form for mixers and also as a module that can be integrated into products, the Avio is a standalone solution and their first one. Now, obviously this adapter is not passive. It does contain some circuitry, namely the Dante Ultimo chipset, which I believe Audinate is using in this uh, to handle all the Dante secret sauce and licensing and has all that baked in. And now of course that needs power. And in these units, the power is supplied by way of PoE or power over ethernet. Now it's not a big deal if you've already spent a bunch of money on Dante compliant network gear and your switch does not provide PoE, you can add that with either a PoE injector uh, after your switch or by adding a PoE switch like I have here, a small one just to power these. Now with that sorted, you've got a few different flavors of these to choose from, one channel and two. There's XLR female that allows you to get audio onto the network and XLR male which allows getting audio off of the network. Once connected to the network, you'll see the units populate in the Dante controller and they can be routed as you need, just like any other Dante device. It really is that simple. The ability to network your current gear can have some really interesting results. For corporate jobs with multiple rooms, you may want to network powered speakers to be utilized in multiple setups. As the rooms are turned over and things like air walls come down, you can end up having a much more flexible system when your speakers and mixing consoles and various equipment from those different breakout rooms all become one again or vice versa. Setting up things like press risers with a networked mult can be a game changer as far as being able to route exactly what you need to route to each uh, riser or to even different people on a riser depending on how far you go with this, but it can be a very, very powerful thing to have your press mult wired up to your Dante network and be able to feed it that way as uh, issues arise and things change on the fly. With video and media playback in mind, the Avio line includes this USB adapter as well. The DBS or Dante Virtual Sound Card is a fantastic piece of technology that I absolutely use on my machine and you probably already do too on yours. But when a client's machine or a rental machine uh, have audio that you need to manage, having a box you can plug in directly without having to deal with drivers or licensing uh, to set up is a huge time saver. Adding submixers, breakout room systems, zone speakers, or most any other input or output you might need to get onto or off of the network is as easy as just plugging it in. It should be noted that these are intended for line level input, so you'll need to switch your wireless gear to line level output or use a standalone mic pre or mixer to connect a microphone to the network with the Avio adapters. So in practice, the Avio adapters work exactly as you'd expect. I've had absolutely no issues with them. They're built pretty darn well for what they are. And that's really the only place that I have any criticism. And that is just the fact that they're plastic and all the, they're really built well. I just wonder how long this would survive in regular use. You know, they are very handy in the fact that they're small and lightweight that like if you're hooking this up to a powered speaker, you can connect it up easily and let this dangle. So I appreciate this design. Uh, what I don't love is the cheaper. These are by Nutrik, but uh, these are are their uh, cheaper Yangsheng version of their connectors, not the real genuine deal. This cable seems to hold up fine so far, as do these molded ends. And you can see here the way that system works. They are two individual cables. It's just a nice piece of molded plastic there that provides the strain relief. They're just fine. As my good friend told me, if you give solutions to criticism, engineers will respect the attention. And with that in mind, I don't want to just criticize the housing and the way these are built. I wanted to give an idea of what I would love to see in addition to these. I think this is a great design and in a lot of instances, this would work perfectly. They're lightweight, they're easy to travel with, but I'd love to see a pro model 
bottle or something a little beefier. So I came up with this. And this is an Avio adapter built into an old PCDI box I had laying around. And it gives us output A and B. And it also gives us a ground lift on A. Uh, my ground lift for B is uh, the switch has gone bad, unfortunately, uh, as part of what was wrong with this box. And I don't have another Horizon one on hand, but it gives us a ground lift on A. Gives us a sum to mono that will sum uh, both outputs. That's probably not something you'd ever really want on this, but it was there, so I reused it. And then a pad, which can be handy. You know, if you're putting this out somewhere and you just need to have a local pad, uh, there you go. So a little beefier idea, metal box. Uh, that was a hell of a job to cut. But yeah, just, just as a laugh, uh, they were nice enough to send over a prototype version of the Avio adapter for us to take a look at. So you can see up close here a little bit about the board that's inside. You know, they're $120 a piece right now, and I've heard some offhanded remarks from folks like, oh, there's not much in there. You know, th why do they cost so much? And you can see here, it's absolutely packed front to back on this board with circuitry not only to deal with the uh, Ethernet connection, with the Dante stuff, but also circuitry there to protect from uh, plugging into things like phantom power supplies and just general uh, stuff you'd need there to get a balanced line level signal out of this system without having to worry about plugging it into other things like mixers and things that may have phantom power. I hope the folks at Audinate don't mind that I did this. This is just as a laugh. Uh, but again, just to show that like, you know, I don't want to criticize somebody else's work without uh, putting in a little bit of effort to show what I'm thinking. So I'd love to see something like this in the future. I don't know if anybody else would uh, prefer a rugged box you know these options for switches are completely arbitrary you could you know i'd love to hear what you would want those to do this is just what i had on hand and decided to make it up in something that might be useful but yeah just a bit of fun there anyway i really hope they don't mind if you do i'm sorry uh I, I'll, I'll put it back together i did definitely destroy the case though so <laughs> But that's it for the audio adapters. I hope this was an interesting first look. I'd love to hear any questions you have or comments or experiences. I know some folks out there are using these already. So let me know down below what your experience has been with them so far. If it's been as seamless as it has been for me testing them. Uh, frankly, I plug them in. They work. If there's anything you specifically want me to test, let me know for sure. And I'll be happy to do a follow-up with that or pass the question along directly to Audinate if it's something uh, beyond my knowledge. So please hit the comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, thanks to everybody who supports the channel and hit the website. Check it out. I change it as much as possible pretty much daily now. Industry news, job listings, anything else I come across, I try to share as often as possible. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.